Thanks for tuning in, guys. I want to talk to you today about a topic that is really near and dear to me, and that's the concept of execution. It's such a broad topic, and I really think it's misrepresented. I think it's misunderstood. I think it's allowed for each person to have their own, indiv their own individual representation or idea of what they think execution means to them. But I think in the bodybuilding community, there's this big misconception that it's just overthinking and, and it doesn't make sense to me because it's like bodybuilding and fitness is the only industry where like you're not allowed to use your brain and you're not allowed to develop and build upon these fundamental uh, thought processes that you start out as like every sport that you get involved in the goal is like you start with the basics and you build upon the basics and you get more and more advanced and the approaches that you have to uh to fine tuning these skills, they get more advanced too. So, I mean, take, take any kind of professional athletics. When you first start uh, doing that sport, the only idea is just to get the basics down to actually start to develop the skill. And then once you go up, you know, in high school, collegiate, pro level, the tools that they measure these skills and continue to hone these fundamentals, they get more advanced too. And in those sports, that's cool, that's accepted. But for whatever reason, we're stuck in this archaic prehistoric age with, you know, bodybuilding and, and health and exercise and it like makes no stinking sense. So my opinion is like, let's get with it, man. It's time to be a little bit more open-minded. I absolutely am a fan of, of you know, the, the path that, you know, Garanda and, and, or Geronda, however you want to pronounce it, and Arnold, uh, you know, Columbo, all, all those guys, uh, you know, what, what Weeder did for the sport. I'm absolutely a fan and recognize that in fact that's how I started my training but guys that was what 60 60 years ago you know I mean things change the sport gets better people evolve uh, the approaches get more mindful and I'm going to give you a couple reasons why to me execution is super important and I'm going to use my own personal experience for all you guys out there that maybe and probably are going through the same issues so all of us get into training because we want to see some kind of physical or aesthetic change. I don't care what it is. And execution has to be the main core knit value in that. It doesn't matter whether you're a person going to lose body fat, put on a bunch of lean tissue, or do both. I don't care because you have to have control of the one variable that you have control over that you can take accountability for, and that's your training, okay? Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is for me, I trained and I didn't have any issue with work ethic like in my early 20s. So I think that the first misconception is that execution training is like for these nerds, right? That, that absolutely just, they don't, they don't have to train hard. They think they can just grow and that couldn't be more wrong. For me, getting in and having a more mild, mindful approach to my training was so that I could continue to train harder and harder and harder and harder every single day. So having an understanding of the way that each muscle works on my body and understanding like these loading patterns, starting to pay attention to biomechanics, starting to pay attention to the physics of each motion, understanding how to change strength variables, understanding you know fiber typing. Yes, it's all very, very specific, but what it has done is it's allowed me to train healthfully within my active ranges for every single muscle, okay, and train at max intensity, depending on the desired stimulus I'm looking for. So it is absolutely, in my opinion, the hardest way of training, okay, because I have learned that like momentum is killer, acceleration can be killer, passive ranges of motion can be killer, and it can absolutely ruin any kind of phase you're training, you're training at that, in that time. Like you could only be getting 20, 30, 40% of the potential of yourself in each session. So for me, it's raised efficiency through the roof, which ultimately gave me everything that I didn't think it was possible. All these you know, body parts that I was genetically not gifted in finally started to come along because I learned how to actually train that muscle group that I wasn't necessarily like maybe mechanically uh, able to train super well. But once I had an understanding of how that muscle functioned, I knew how to manipulate these variables within my training to actually get exercises to fit me through understanding the contraction. And that's the biggest thing is it separated movements and replaced all these exercise selections with contractions. So no longer I go into the, the gym with the idea of like, I'm gonna do this exercise for A and this exercise for B, the exercise for C. It's like, okay, you know, what do I wanna accomplish with this, this muscle? And then the exercise chooses itself. 
Do I want to get it completely contracted? Do I want to get it overloaded in that position? Do I want to work it in a mid-range? Do I want to work something that gets a lot of output with more stability? Do I want to work in a length of position get it overloaded there? Do I want to work in a range of motion where that muscle is mechanically advantageous and elicit a lot of damage? Do I want to work you know, eccentrics? Do I want to over overload concentrics with band? Do I want to work excel acceleration reps for neurological training? Like the, 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 the sky is the limit, okay? The potential is endless when you know how to execute. And time and time again, People use the excuse of like, well, I don't want to have to go into the gym and think. Well, I'm sorry, man. If you don't want to think, then your potential is limited, just like my, mine was 10 years ago. You will have joint pain. You will have setbacks. You will hit plateaus, and you'll get frustrated. You know, don't know what to do, and you'll blame everybody else except for yourself. So that this video is a wake-up call for you guys because it was for me. That like execution, understanding how to take accountability for your training experience absolutely will change how you conduct yourself in the gym and the results that come from that, I guarantee it, okay? So make no mistake, training with a mindful approach is not an excuse to train like a lazy bum. It's not an excuse not to push yourself. It is absolutely a tool to help you push yourself to a new limit, right? I may train a little bit more within my parameters. You may not see like I have a bunch of this extra body language, but guess what? Like, I'm only gonna put energy into the actual like isolated tissue I'm trying to train. All that extra stuff, it's wasted energy in my opinion. So every single ounce of my energy is going toward the accomplished goal of that movement or that exercise selection and nothing else. And when that goal is done, my set is done. And then it's basically a, a, a combination of all these accomplished sets building upon themselves that were 100% efficient. Well, they're never perfect, but close, okay? that really makes you break through your genetic potential, all right? So for all you guys out there that really think, ah, you know, execution training is for a bunch of geeks, you know, it doesn't work. Like these guys overthink, nah, I'm sorry, man. Like if you have a question about that, come train with me sometime. Uh, it's way different because all it is is absolutely the best tool that I added to my arsenal training to make me train harder. I already had the work ethic. Now I have the mindful approach to continue to build upon that. And guess what? I have good workout after good workout after good workout. So I win the week of workouts, not just that single workout, you know, that I felt good on just because I'm training with my ego. Instead, now I'm starting to train with my brain. And for all you guys out there that think execution alone is going to build your physique, I'm sorry, you know, but you're going to have to have some, have some serious intensity that you add to that, okay? The last thing that I wanna to add to it is the beautiful thing about understanding exercise and body execution, understanding your human anatomy and the way the body's supposed to move, understanding how to isolate movement patterns and things of that nature, is when you get into something like contest prep or you're going to try to have this massive transformation and you have a deadline, like you know what different parts of exercise stimulate different, um, it's different, different stimuluses within the workout. So if I spend more time in the concentric range, okay, I could potentially have more of a metabolic stimulus. If I spend more time through eccentrics in the length and range, I could potentially elicit more mechanical damage and get a little bit more of like a hypertrophy stimulus. If I have exercises that have equal effort throughout, okay, um, which I'm able to actually drive through and make really, really hard contractions. I'm increasing my contractile tension from rep to rep to rep. That's a great way to have neurological training. And when you're able to have these little things that you can sprinkle in, you're able to periodize your training very, very mindfully. You want to rely so much on your diet and you'll be able to rely way more on your training and your diet can just follow along. So I'm not saying that you can get away with more dietarily, but you can start to get your body working for you. You can get your hormones under control simply by executing properly um, and, and controlling your hormones, controlling your stimulus and your environment with that point, okay? So I hope that you guys get a little bit of a grasp of why execution is so near and dear to me and why I really want all you guys to jump on board, okay? If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to send me an email uh, the email that I'm using for my business is contact, C-O-N-T-A-C-T, -T, at execution, okay, E-X-E-C-U-T-I-O-N, dash, okay, like a dash, the horizontal line, pro, P-R-O, dot com, okay. Any inquiries about my online coaching, it's all execution based. It's all about making you guys train more efficiently in the gym, okay. Um, if you guys have questions about what the pricing is, what exactly the service is, 
email me to that, okay? Um, take a look in the description here at these great affiliates that I have. Uh, I have a great supplement sponsor. I'm a coach with him. I also have an awesome affiliation with Accessory Gym Equipment and Gym Equipment with Prime Fitness USA. They're a United States manufacturer out of, uh, out of Pennsylvania. Um, so a lot of great things coming, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And by all means, I hope to hear from you guys very soon.